Hi y'all, it's Charlene. We're here today at the Crafty Art Shack and we're going to be working on this little camper. And we're going to be taking this. This side of it is blank. This side of it has the design on it. We're going to repeat this design on this side and I'm going to show you how. See you in a minute. Let's get this show started. Okay, in this video, we're going to be taking this trailer and we're going to copy this design. We're going to lay a piece of paper over it, which you can't see from the video, but I can. And this piece of paper needs to be transparent enough that you can see through the paper and what you're going to do, and what I did, is I went, because this has some raised spots in it, I kind of went around and took my finger and kind of marked out with my hand creases in the paper where this little trailer had indentions and the camper piece to it. So when I go back and lay this on the other side, I'll be able to see. So what I did, and I can see through here, but you can't, is I traced all the lines from through the paper. And as I'm going through tracing them, I'm marking, this is, this is nothing right there. This is red. Then um, this one's white. So I put a W there. And I just keep tracing along those lines just like this which i'm going to fast forward this part in the video because you don't need to see me do all of this you just know how need to know how i did the technique so i'm labeling it red white red because that's where the colors are if you put your finger down and you lift this up you'll see what i'm talking about there's red white red I'm not going to worry about this design. I'm going to fill in the line as I go across. Now, I've already done this on another piece of paper, which is right here. Now, what I did next is I went along because, okay, what I did next is I went along here and everywhere I saw a star, I wrote an S in there, and I know that this bottom area is going to be all blue. And then what I did is where I creased it with my finger here, I cut out the edge and I cut out around the tire as well because when you flip this over to this other side, you're going to need that. So now I have all my stars written on here. I have all my colors labeled all the way through here red white red white with white and of course we know this is blue down here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn my piece of paper over and because i'm looking through this piece of paper i can trace out the lines and recreate the design on this side of the page why do we need to do that because we've got to make a transfer if i just take this side and I flip the camper over and then I go to put it on there, it doesn't match up. So we've got to take this design and flip it over. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna line it up down here at the bottom. You're gonna line it up with the top and you're with your creases and everything. And I went a little over on these edges over here, but that's okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tape. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it. I'm going to take a piece of tape, tape this down here, and that's all I'm going to do. And then on the other side of this paper, I went back and remarked these pretty dark. Now at this point, you can use, where did I put it? We have some carbon paper. You can take a piece of carbon paper. Okay, you're gonna take your piece of carbon paper 
that you've cut to fit and you're going to lay it down and you want to make sure it covers the whole trailer and because I'm not putting anything on this wheel I'm going to just cover that up. You're going to take and flip your paper back up over it and over your wheel well and then you're going to start you want to make sure everything's still lined up and then what you're going to do is you're going to go through here and you're going to mark every place there's an s for the star and you're going to trace every one of your lines on here as well if you don't have carbon paper you can take and darken your lines on this side flip it back over and then trace them and it should leave those lines on your other side of your project as long as you're working with wood or canvas or paper so i'm going to go through here and mark this up and when i get done i'll be back okay i've gone through and traced all my lines on here and with the carbon paper under it and i've marked every letter for every stripe like red white red white red white and then this one we're going to be blue and i put little x's for the stars i just need to know where to place the stars that's all and then i'm going to flip that over i'm going to flip this back and make sure that everything transferred over onto it and it did it's pretty light but i can come back in here with my pencil and make those lines more visible to me so that I know where I'm going to paint at if the parts of the lines are missing. You just kind of fill it in the rest of the way. You can go ahead and take your carbon paper off. And I like to save this because it's not easy to find. Um, you can still get it, it's just hard to find. And I'm going to take my design for my trailer off we're all done with that. Okay, we've taken everything that is on this side and we've gone through here and we've traced it onto our camper. And here is all of our little lines. They're very faint. I'm not sure if it shows up in the camera, but you can go ahead and take this paper off, set it to the side. You're not gonna need it now. Now, what you can do is if your little lines didn't come through real clear, you can come back through here and trace them in if you want to, if that makes you feel more comfortable in doing that. Um, and if you don't get them perfect, it's okay because it's going to be covered up with paint. So you just want to come through here and then you want to make sure you label like this little section up here is red. And this one's white, this one's red, this one's white. You want to go through and make sure you mark all of that so you're painting it the right color. It's kind of going to be like paint by numbers, okay? Now, um, the next step that I'm going to do is all these little X's or S's that I have on here is where a star is going to go. So what I did is you can get those little stars the little gold stars like you get from the from first grade or whatever um i didn't have any of those so what i'm going to do is i'm going to erase my s on here because where that star is going to go right there i'm going to need to put the star and we want it to be white underneath and so what I did with the uh, reason why I erased that is I know where it goes. It goes right here and I'm going to stick this right here. Now, why did I erase my letter S from underneath, underneath this? The reason why I did is because this is going to be white. I'm going to peel these off after I paint. Okay. And I'm going to show you the trick that we're going to do here. And you want to make sure these are pressed on. You can use little gold stars. I didn't have little gold stars that were like the ones you get on your thing when you're in kindergarten or whatever. I had these little stars. So I'm going to put these on. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got all of our little stars 
placed down on the camper and we looked at the other side and kind of saw that they kind of went in a row so we kind of tried to make the row follow the same pattern on this side as to the way our stars were paint are going to be painted up or as to the way the stars are aligned on the other side of the camper now what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back in here and my little line that is going to start my blue i'm just going to kind of trace it where the lines are light so i can see it because this is everything from here down is going to be blue so what we're going to do now is we're going to get our blue paint we're going to get out a paintbrush and I think I'm ready to go. I'm going to take my paint and I'm going to shake it up, make sure my color is really good, shook up really good. I've got my trailer ready to go. I've got my paintbrush. I got my trusty paint plate with all its colors and glory from painting. Okay, so we're going to put out some of this paint on the little paint plate and put that to the side. I only put out a little bit at a time. If I need more, I can always put it out. So what I'm gonna do now is get the paint on my paintbrush and I'm gonna start up here in this corner and I'm gonna go across the little star and I'm gonna follow that line. And you say, well, Charlene, I'm not that good of a painter. Well, neither am I. And guess what? Mistakes are made to be fixed it's okay your paint is going to go on kind of thin the first coat that you put on and you're just going to follow that little line and you want your coat to be even as you go across here the only thing you have to be careful about is when you go around the wheel if you don't want to have to paint it again try to make sure you don't get paint on it and you're going to kind of Follow along that edge of that wheel. It's okay if you paint over your stars because they need to be painted over. Not that they need to be, but we want the paint right up against the edge of them. Okay, and what I'm doing is just outlining my wheel and I'm gonna add my paint in here. And the first coat, I'm not worrying too much about it because it's gonna go on pretty thin and we will fix any streaks or anything we have in the next couple of coats that goes on. It just depends on your project, how many coats of paint you need. Um, but the biggest thing is make sure you don't catch that tire and making sure you make your line right here Kind of follow the line that's on the other side okay and that's what you should have step one or step whatever <laughs> okay i'm gonna let that dry and i'll be right back for the next coat of paint okay you can use a blow dryer on this to kind of speed up the process so you can go ahead and do the next step and now that our paint is dry we're going to add the next coat of paint and with each coat of paint you're going to see it get darker as you lay it down until you put enough coats on until you get enough to be the color of what's on the opposite side okay and you just keep adding paint and painting along just like this and you guys I just want to tell you why I'm painting um, we're gonna be doing some kids craft videos that will be coming up so if you've got kids get them to tune into the channel because we're gonna have a summer craft we're gonna have one for girls and one's for boys and then we'll go from there and we may have some more um, crafts as we go along that they can follow along and do. Crafts are always good for kids. It teaches them new skills, teaches them good uh, 
coordination with their hands and their eyes. Okay, you guys, we're back and this is all dry now. Dry to the touch, nothing came off. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a piece of paper and lay it out here. And the purpose of this piece of paper is to put our stars on, because we're gonna peel up our stars right now and we need something to stick them to because we need, and you may find that your paint didn't quite dry all the way around it, it's okay. It'll dry, and I'm gonna use a little exacto knife and reach right by this tire and grab that one. If you have any of them that are hard to get up, you can take your exacto knife and stick it under them, just like this. Grab a piece of it and pull straight up. That way, you're getting your little star. You don't want to, um, you don't want to do something. <laughs> okay, you want to, you don't want to peel up the paint that you just put down. That's why you're lifting straight up. Okay, and we're going to go through here, take all these little stars off, and then we'll be back. Okay, you guys, I wanted to show you the reason why we're taking the stars off at this step is because this line right here is going to be white and it's not going to get any paint on it anyway. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull those little stars up because that kind of determines where our paint line is because this section's white right here. Now we've got a few little places where our paint ran over and our stars aren't completely white so we're going to touch those up now we're going to get out our white apple barrel paint and we're going to put some of it on the tray i don't put too much of it out at once i just put a little bit and then what i'm going to do is get one of my finer brushes that look like this one, which is a number two uh, shader brush, simply Simmons brush. And the reason why I chose this one is because of the tip on it. It's going to allow me to get in there and put this down. When you're painting, it's all about using the right brush. Okay. Now let me get some of my white paint here and I'm going to come back in here in my little places where it overran my mark, I'm going to just take this little brush and go right by that. And it may take a couple of coats to cover that blue up, but it'd be, it's easy to cover. And then you come in here and you fill in your little stars where your paint bled over. To avoid that paint bleed over, what you do is you take and press your stars down all the way. I left some of them like I did so that I could show you, but you see the ones that I did press down on, they did not do that. So that's how you fix it. I'm gonna fix these and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I've got all the little stars touched up and I've got let them dry. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my brush that I had for the blue paint and I'm gonna make sure there's no more blue paint on it. Okay, and now I'm going to take, and along this line right here, I want to clean up that line. So I'm going to take a little white paint and put it on my brush. And I'm going to come right in here. And I'm just going to evenly go along this stripe and that edge right there. And turn my brush right there because i got a spot I want to clean up. And I'm going to just go along that edge right there. And I want to kind of lift my brush down here at the end because I don't want to catch this metal right here and get paint on it. I'm going to put a little bit more on there. And I'm going to come down through here one more time with one more swipe because this stripe right here is going to be white. And I want to kind of get that brush stroke out of it because the other side doesn't have brush strokes in it. So I'm going to lightly go along and touch that section right there. And now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get my red paint because this line's red. And we're going to work our way this way. You guys, I've got my apple barrel red paint 
and this is bright red because it's the color that I had that was the closest to matching it. I'm going to put some down on my plate, not too much because we can always put more down. Now it's best to have two different brushes when you're doing this so your colors don't mix when you got the red and the white because you know what they say about American colors? Our, our colors don't, don't run. And what I'm going to do is this right here I'm going to, it is white, so this next stripe is red. Now I want to be really careful. Make sure I'm not getting that on the um, metal that's on this side. And I'm going to just kind of go along here along that white line. And when I get down here to the edge, I want to kind of lift up because I don't want it to get on that. Now I'm laid down my base color for the first wipe. The red's going to take a couple of coats. I'll be right back when I get done with that. Okay, that coat is dry. So now we're going to add our next coat. And every coat that we put on will make this stripe darker and make it, and you want to paint it as many coats as needed to get it to be the color on the opposite side and you also want to make sure that you're covering up your pencil line that's in that white stripe because if not it's going to show and so like right here I'm having a hard time getting to that white that pencil line so I'm just kind of turning my brush where I can see that pencil line and we're gonna paint that and it's okay if you make a little mistake it can be fixed it's just paint it's just paint and I'm just what you see me here doing is going through and bringing that red line through because it's a little bit wider at this end so I'm gonna stretch that out to be a little bit wider stripe right there and now we're gonna let this one dry and we'll be right back when that one dries. Okay you guys we've painted it and it's dry now and I'm gonna flip it over and we're getting pretty close to this color that's on this other side so we're gonna paint one more line of red in here and as you're going through this you just want to press when your line gets wide press your push your brush down and that'll make that line wider if it gets narrow you lift your brush up just like this and when you lift that brush up It'll make that line narrower, but if you want it wider, like right here, watch me push that brush down. See how that brush gets wider? That'll give you an even stroke all the way through your line as you do it. Now, these lines are going to be white, red, white, red, all the way up. You don't need to see me do all that. I'll see you when I get done with that, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I have finished painting the camper on this side. Now, if you got paint on this little metal edge that goes all the way around this, all you have to do is just take a baby wipe and wipe along those edges and that will clean that paint right off of there. And that's pretty much it. Um, there's our other side. And this side's a little brighter, but it's okay because it's going to sit in a camper and if it hangs outside as a bird feeder, which it's intended to be, this side won't be seen at the same time the other side is and it's okay. And like I said, if you got paint on this, just wipe it off. Wipe it off with a baby wipe. Baby wipes work wonders. Okay, you guys, we're back and we had this little camper to do today. This was the side that we were copying and this is the finished side of it. And I think it turned out pretty cute. 
We hope you liked this episode of the Crafty Art Shack and learning how to transfer a design from one side to the other side, like we did here in this camper. And we hope you join us for another episode of the Crafty Art Shack. We'll see you later and look for you in our next video. Happy crafting. Bye.